All right, y'all, listen, it's been a long time and there's no time to waste. It's beginner's lesson number four, the final string. <laughs> Hello friends and neighbors, welcome back to the Brownstone. My name is Rich Brown and this is the fourth video in our series for beginners. If you're a beginner um, and you haven't seen the other videos, go ahead and check them out. I'll put them in a playlist so that you can see them all one after the other. And they're all being dubbed in French as we speak. So if you have uh, some friends who parlez-vous le français, then uh, maybe you can send them these videos and uh, help them out a little bit. Because that's why I'm here. I'm here to help out the peoples, like yourselves. Over the course of the last three lessons, what we've done is we've just learned one string at a time. If you are new to the bass, I don't want to load you down with a whole bunch of stuff. I want to keep things super simple. You're focusing on like one thing at a time and making sure the technique is on point. The notes are coming out nice and clear. Your left hand and right hand are all comfortable and uh, using the proper technique. Um, just making sure that's all together. And then we'll move on. Today we're gonna move on to the last string. That is the string on the bottom known as G. So here's what we've done so far. We've done the notes on the E string, E, F, G. The notes on the A string, A, B, C. The notes on the D string, D, E, F. And now we're doing the notes on the G string. Check this out. We're gonna go open G, and then we're gonna play, this is very important, we're gonna play that second fret, not with the second finger, but with the first finger. Because, I'll show you why in a little bit. We're gonna play with the first finger on the second fret. The next note is going to be the fourth fret. We can access that with the third finger of the left hand. And then I want you to go ahead and play the fifth fret with the little finger. So what we've done is when we move down to the G string, the notes that we have to play um, for this particular exercise are the notes G, A at the second fret, and B at the fourth fret. So what I do is I set myself up with a new four fret span beginning from the second fret. So if my first finger is there, then I have this happening where I can cover everything from the second fret to the fifth fret because the fifth fret comes into play at the end of the exercise where we play the note C with the little finger. Very important that you play that note with the little finger because we have to get all of the fingers equally comfortable with the left hand. This is the thing that a lot of beginners find the most challenging, being able to comfortably use that little finger. And again, there are, there are exercises that just have you play like one finger per fret. We'll get into some of that maybe in the next video. Um, but for now, Here's what I want you to do. I just want you to get used to playing on that string, playing the open G, A at the second fret with your first finger, B at the fourth fret with your third finger, and most importantly, that note C at the fifth fret with your little finger, right? Now, as far as the positioning of the thumb is concerned, my thumb is right behind my second finger. Right? We've talked about this before. So basically I have this kind of position happening where the hand is sort of in a natural grip, right? Just like this. And I bring that to the base. You can see where my second finger and my, my thumb are pretty much level. So that means my thumb is in the middle of the neck. It's not up here. It's not way down here. It's at a comfortable position where the, the left wrist is pretty straight, and then I can access those notes pretty easily. Huh? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So first of all, I just want you to get used to playing the notes on the G string, and say them out loud as you play them. G, A, B, C, B, A, 
G. Again, making sure that the notes are crystal clear. The technique is on point. Your fingers aren't flying away as you play. And you're getting used to this idea of playing a four fret span with the left hand. You dig? Okay, once you have that down, let's go back and play all of the notes. All the notes from the open E all the way up to the fifth fret of the G string, the note C. E to shining C. So this is the exercise I'm gonna leave you with for this week. And what I want you to do is use one of these two options. I'm gonna take you through a couple of ideas with the left hand that will allow you to easily access those four notes on the G string. Well, especially the last three notes on the G string. All right, so here's the deal. We start with the hand in position because the first note is the open E and then the next note is the first fret that F, and we're gonna play with the first finger. And if we're following along with our four fret span, then we play G with the third finger, right? And then we follow through the notes of the A string. So that's A, B, C, second fret and third fret. A, open, second fret, second finger, third fret, third finger, third finger, A, B, C. Now, here is where I'm gonna give you the option. When you play the next string, you can either play that open D the same way where we have D, E, and F. Now if you notice, I'm playing the E and the F, second fret, second finger, third fret, third finger, right? But you could also take advantage of this opportunity to set yourself up for the next string and make the switch here. So when you play the A string, you go open, second finger, third finger, and then you make the switch. When you go to the D string, you play open, first finger, second finger. So first finger on the second fret, second finger on the third fret. Now that sets you up perfectly for the notes on the G string, right? So, you can either make the switch of setting yourself up for the four fret span starting from the second fret on the D string, or you can just follow through and play the D string as you did on the A string so that you have this pattern, open, second finger, third finger, and then the same thing on the D string, second finger, third finger, and then you make the switch first finger on the second fret, third finger on the fourth fret, and then you end with the fifth fret with the little finger. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to play this option of making the switch right at or right after the A string, right? So then what happens is we have the following uh, sequence. I'm gonna start from the open E and go all the way up to the fifth fret of the G string. Starting like so, we play E, F, G. That's first finger and third finger. And then we go A, B, C. The B and the C is second finger and third finger. And then we make the switch. We go open D and then we switch and play the E with the first finger, F with the second finger. And that sets us up to play the open G, first finger on the A at the second finger, second fret, and then uh, third finger on the fourth fret of the, G, of the G, ending with the fifth fret with the little finger on the G string. I'll play that again. Switch. See that? I'll take it slow. So I play first finger, third finger second finger, third finger. Here, make the switch. First finger, second finger, open. First finger, third finger, little finger. And then we come back down with the same idea. So I like this option of switching halfway through the exercise. Because then, 
It's the same way ascending and descending. When I come down that scale, or that sequence of notes, as soon as I play the open D on that descending pattern, that's where I make the switch. I hit that D, open, and then I switch third finger on the C at the third fret of the A string, and then I follow through. So that looks like this. Here's the full exercise. You can play it with me. I'll take it nice and slow, and we'll start like this. One, two, three, four. Second finger, third finger, switch, first finger, second finger. Open G, first finger, third finger, little finger, two, three, and back. Third finger, first finger, second finger, first finger, switch, third finger, second finger, open, third finger, first finger, done. Huh? That's the whole exercise. So run that back and forth. That is your exercise for the week. And that's going to be all the notes that we're going to cover for the next little while. And that's it. Have fun with this exercise. As you play through, make sure the notes are nice and clear. Enjoy the sound of the bass as you play. That's very important because the more you enjoy it, the more you want to hear it. And the more you want to hear the bass, the, more, the longer you'll practice. And the longer you practice, the better you will become. Very simple concept. Do me a favor. If you like this video, you know what to do. You can like share, subscribe to the channel, join the channel, donate to the channel. There are all kinds of stuff that'll all be in the description box below. I want to thank you for joining me here on the Brownstone this week, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Peace.